Yes, hello. This is Mark Vendelaan from uh, UC Berkeley, uh, Biostatistics and Statistics. And this is a short two minute video presentation uh, in which I uh, raise some questions we might consider answering at the uh, SMEC 2021 meeting titled Statistics, Philosophy and Health. So my question concerns to what degree our field is willing to adopt the following key steps, in my opinion, of translating the real world into the real world data experiments into, and the questions concerning, uh, into a statistical estimation problem, and also the corresponding proposed approach for inference. The first one uh, being a statistical model, a realistic statistical model. That means we are describing the data generating experiment and we specify a likelihood for the observed data and specify assumptions which we can defend and we believe to be true about the experiment. So I call these models realistic statistical models to distinguish them from you know paramedic models which have no basis in, in the real world really because they cannot be defended. So that's step one. Are we willing to adopt realistic statistical models and make and specify them as part of the formulation? Step two, specify an estimate. So an estimate is just a feature of the probability distribution of the data, like a mapping from the probability distribution of the data to the real line or whatever your uh, parameter space is. This estimate is then typically essentially non-paramedically defined because it needs to be defined for any possible distribution in your statistical model. Such an estimate would require, if they wanted, if you want the estimate to be an answer to a causal question, it would require specifying a causal model or full data model uh, in which you can then define, for example, the, uh, the question of interest in terms of comparing, uh, running a hypothetical experiment, comparing uh, distributions of counterfactuals, that kind of thing. And then there needs to be an identification result uh, be established, which says we can actually express this causal quantity into a feature of the distribution of the data. And that defines then the estimates. So that's where the role of causal models and identification results come in to define an estimate so that the estimate truly represents uh, yeah, the question of interest. And of course, that will rely on assumptions and they need to be transparently stated. And they will be potentially subject to sensitivity analysis. And then that then defines the statistical estimation problem, now defined by the statistical model and the estimate. And as a third thing, we have to define an estimator. An estimator a priori specified. Do we agree with that? As a, and that estimator, we should aim to understand and understand its sampling distribution, at least asymptotically and also practically. And really uniform overall possible distributions you allow in your statistical model. And once you understand the sampling distribution, that will then also specify a method for statistical inference, like the construction of a constant model. So these are fundamental steps. They are certainly part of a roadmap we teach and uh, use in our translations from the real world into statistical estimation problems and estimators. Uh, but they have consequences, a lot of consequences. Uh, in particular, the statistical model having to be realistic is a big one. Having the estimate essentially always non-paramedically defined uh, and a priori specification of an estimator guaranteeing reproducible research and objectivity. Uh, I think this would be an interesting discussion to have. So thank you for your attention.